I haven't been to Tutor Island in a while. When was the last time? Uh, Hardcore Group Iron Man with Mr. Mutz and Mr. Fuse. Okay. What? What is going? <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. I want to keep this like how it used to be. All right. I'm not interested in gigantic size spells. Okay. All right. We got the solo modes. We're going to go ahead and pick the ultimate Iron Man. God damn, man. Me from eight years ago would have been laughing at the fact that uh, we actually chose to play an ultimate Iron Man. I do like their armor a bit more, though. It looks it looks classier. Even though we are more vegan based. First big goal for the prayer. We're going to do this super different from how I've ever done it before in my life. Let's see. We are going to get some food. I think I'm going to go and get my 10k from the security stronghold right now. S tier plugin. Dude, where's my stuff? Oh, stash units, carable storage, POA storage, stash units. Okay, yeah, this is definitely going to be very useful on the ultimate Iron Man, so. And the death timer stuff downloaded from Runelight for the ultimate Iron Man. More about security settings. Yes, we're going to take advantage of Countercheck to go to Security Stronghold. And we're going to risk it for the 10k, boys. I got my shrimps, and I'm ready to send it. All right, I think this is mission accomplished here. We got the 10,000 gold. Perfect. All right. Now, the next plan is go and steal some cakes for the witch's house because I want to get some uh, HP levels. And that should get us, I think, 26 HP, which will make the boneyard method for, for the prayer goal a little bit easier. All right, great, Corin. We're going to start this because I'm going to go to good old Zaya for cakes instead of the arty stalls. So I can avoid the wilderness and also change it up a bit. All right, our first taste of holiness. There we go. Nine prayer. Just got to get 49k more prayer XP to go for 43 prayer. Let's go. Nice. That's quest done. We get 200 coins, some antique lamps, a beginner clue, sick. Uh, we're going to put this on HP, actually, because I just need more HP to survive the boneyard. All right, here it is. Fresh taste of Zaya. And, of course, just in time to enjoy all of Volumor, too, on a new account. Mm -mm. We're here after a long-ass walk, but holy shit, we're here, boys. The cake stall. Mmm. Yummy. Too bad we can't bank a bunch, but we'll get like an inventory's worth. I mean, I still have a lot of my runes left, so I guess I won't do the boneyard just yet, because maybe I will finish a uh, good old waterfall quest, things like that. Completing Witch's House for 25 HP. Let's freaking go. There it is. Our first major level up. Mmm. -mm. Alright, Tana Jody, that's sick. Well, that unlocks Drainer. I thought I might as well sort this out, because uh, I need that energy regen so bad, man. Oh my god, all this walking makes you realize how bad it is now. Let's skip the training, I'm an expert already. Alright, this should allow me now to teleport to Barber Salt, please. Yes, this is good. It's very worth it, because I need all the free teleports I can get. Minigame Telly OP. I was planning on doing Boneyard all the way to 43, which involves just picking up big bones in Boneyard in the wilderness and then using it at the Chaos Altar. Chaos Altar letting you use the bones multiple times to make it efficient. But there's another thing I can actually do to get a lot of prex speed. 20,000 prex speed, in fact, which is basically half of it to 43. And the mini quest is called His Faithful Servants. In this mini quest, you have to kill all six Barrows Brothers and loot the chest for this item called Strange Icon. Giving it to the strange old man upstairs in the Barrows Mount will give you 20k per XP. I think this will be such a fun challenge to see if I can kill the Barrows Brothers as low as combat as possible. And the idea is I will do a combination of Bone Yard and Mern's Crystal basically to get me all the way to like 30,000 prayer xp which means i need twenty thousand, which i will get by completing a barrels run so that's basically the plan but before i can do all of that i do need to quickly just bang out all these easy quests that give a lot of combat speed the usual waterfall and stuff like that so 
Jeez. Selling freaking diamonds <laughs> back to the appropriate NPC is so much money. 1200 GP. I might as well hop, right? That's sick. Um, we're gonna need quite a bit of GP for sure to do the barrels run. Starting this ultimate Iron Man is a unique challenge that will test my wits and energy like never before. I have to be properly nourished for this new trial, but thankfully I got my HelloFresh subscription. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. They have 45 plus dinner options created by professional chefs. All their meals are centered on being healthy and affordable and covers a wide range of dietary lifestyles. Plus, HelloFresh is giving new subscribers free dessert for life per box order. All the food is freshly prepped and sent directly to you weekly. All you have to do is pick your recipes and a delivery date. Personally, the convenience of making healthy and tasty meals from HelloFresh is unmatched. I've prepared HelloFresh meals before and it is so simple. The instructions that come with the meal kits are easy to understand. The meals are easy to cook. Plus, I have fun cooking these meals and being able to taste my efforts within the hour. This is a great time to enhance your 2024 with great meals. Use my link in the description and enter the code on the screen to receive 10 free meals plus free dessert for life while subscription is active. Back to the progress. All right, here we go. 25 agility. I'm going to need this just for the grand tree because I am going to do the standard, do all the uh, basic level up quests, right? Enhance our combats before we head over for that uh, barrels, KC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to start Rune Mysteries because to do the Barosh Rush, I need to do Rune Mysteries for Parasons, for Priest and Peril. Rune Mysteries, done. Sweet. All right, there we go. That's a f another attack level. The Grand Tree done. 44 attack as well. 24 magic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, hopefully this pinball gives me some really good stuff. Please come on oh oh my god yo this is actually so good believe it or not this is amazing one of the first times we're gonna exploit death to our vantage here so our stuff is gonna drop on the ground here and then i'll pick it back up after i finish the entrana part of this holy grail quest because we gotta be back in this general area anyway so now that takes me a bit closer to good old port serum Let's check the value on this. Oh my god. We're so rich. 7 times 5. 3.5k gold. Oh yes. That's perfect. I should be able to afford my dream weapon for the barrows. Yes! 1 HP. Let's go. Oh money. Oh my god. Money. Money. Ooh. Thank you for the money. There it is. Holy Grail done. Oh, that was worth it. There we go. 11k per XP. Skyrocketing our prayer to 29. And of course, we get some defense too for the Boneyard, which is nice. For Rock's Enclave, it's pretty useful for just any new account, just because you can reset your stats here. But on an Ultimate Iron Man, you can do a bit more than that. Since I don't have a bank, I have to actually use the Elements Coffer as a strategic way to store my gold. So it's one of the safest ways possible because even if like I die or whatever, as long as I store the gold in the LMS last man standing coffer, nothing will happen to it. So we're going to store all the monies. Oh, you can only put in increments of 1000. Man, that's so lame. All right, guys. So we're going to basically go to the bone yard, which is a bit up north from Frox Enclave. And then we're just going to grab the big bones here and then just go to the wilderness altar and use it. And we only need 18k per XP. So, dang, this bone yard has, it's actually a lot bigger than I expected. I totally forgot that this is a rather big place. We're going to get a looting bag first before we do the... The chaos altar part because we can get two inventories of big bones at the altar at once oh, i got it yes okay sick since the good old enclave doesn't accept imperfect numbers i guess i can still use the ge to store some gold for a bit all right this is where things get dangerous though i don't suspect p cares to be in the boneyard because who really goes there but this is a hot spot, though, man. Oh, someone's here. 
Probably a good idea to get a little peek, see who's out here. Okay, never mind. We're fine. We're fine. It's a bone runner. Go, go, go. Spam this bitch. Fast. Holy shit. Look at that prayer XP, boys. There we go. Here we go. We're sending it. All right. Apparently, we're going to destroy it. Hope this works. Okay, it works. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is like all that worth, but whatever. All right, boys. We survived another uh, trip. And now we are at... Oh, log out. <laughs> Anyways, we are now at 20k XP. So I just need literally two trips. Because I'm getting around uh, a little bit over 5k XP. He's chill. He's chill. He logged off. All right. He smelled that I'm an ultimate Iron Man and he couldn't handle the stench. Yes. Oh, we did it. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. We're, we're actually a little off. Uh, but it's okay because Priest of Peril actually gives me 1.4k. So I'm actually going to be fine. We're going to Guys here because he's going to give us the weapon that we need to do the Barrow's Quest for the prayer. All right, I checked the stats between the two. Adamant 2H is a lot stronger. Like 13 accuracy more, 13 strength more. So we're going to send it. We're going to send it. There you go. And we can wear it too, thanks to the quest that we did. I'm going to spend the rest of this money on runes so we can fire strike and buy a fire battle staff. We're going to need that as well for barrels. Can I join your order? Yes, there we go. We're in. Get that monk robes, baby. There we go. Just because of the Naisu Prayer bonus. 11. Look at that. Sorry. But that is Doggo slain with the Adam and Twin Sword. We're just really trying to, like, get the most out of this. Okay, that's it. We've spent our money. We got 320 shots. Alright, here it is. Priest and Peril done. Let's go. And we'll talk about the strategy when we get there. But yeah, this is our path to Barrows. Just a classic run all the way down. Like this, take a right, and then we're there. So, see you in about 10 minutes of walking and running. We're actually here, guys, at a humble 43 combat. We're going to tackle the Barrows. We're going to try arms first, because I do have Prey Mage. So, we're going to lose all our prayer pretty quick. So, we're not going to be able to utilize prayer that much. All right, let's begin this mini quest here. It's Faithful Servant. Remember the name of this mini quest. Okay. Good luck, us. All right, so... Let's see where Aram spawns. Oh, yes, this is good. This is good. This is good. No, oh, dang it. Okay, there we go. All right, sweet. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. We need a... Man, great. Hold on. I'm trying to spawn it in a better spot, but he is kind of being a bitch. Ow, she actually hit me. Uh, dang it. All right. I guess I need to wait. I need to just keep trying because he is just not spawning in a good spot. Man. Okay. Hold on. How about this? Oh, I got him. I got him. Yes. There we go. I didn't see that rock. Sweet. See, here's a problem though. Oh, okay. He didn't lower my stats that much. We're chilling. Okay. Good. All right, now we drink this, and we go. And we just flinch him all day, every day. Wish us luck. All right, this is one of the hardest parts. So if we can clear this, that's good. Yeah, let me get that back-to-back -back hit, brother. Let me get that back-to-back. -back. Just two hits in a row. Yeah. Oh, no way! Oh my god, it despawned. Shit. Hmm... Mm, okay guys we we have encountered a problem because uh it it apparently has a timer mm. yeah we barely done any damage this time all right let's try carols because unfortunately at this rate it's probably gonna despawn a little more juice a little more juice yeah it shouldn't mess oh damn it okay so all right so even if we take a hit Unfortunately, it still despawns. Damn it, dude. That's so stupid, man. 
I can't believe Jagex trolled with the despawn timer. So, we're, we're, we're basically getting DPS checked, unfortunately. So, we do need to change our plans, I think, a bit here. We're gonna just flinch kill it with magic, because uh, I feel like I could do it. Uh, yeah, we can do this still. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take one hit at a time. We're gonna trade hits. It's gonna absolutely hurt, but this is probably better than, uh, you know, flinching, at least. There we go. One hit. <laughs> uh... Now, can you take eat this guy? Okay, I mean, we're definitely doing way more damage. So, we, we should be able to kill this before the timer runs out. Just Aram's, though, unfortunately, I don't know about that one, though. I don't know what to tell you guys. Fire Strike is absolutely goaded right now. God damn, I need some better hits, though. Oh, no. Shit, we're so close. Oh, my God. We're so close. Actually, hold on. I think it's time to flinch. I think it's time. <laughs> um, Yeah, I think it's time. I think we have enough HP now. I, I think we have enough time now. So, out of food now. Mother trucker. I can't believe this. Oh, a seven? A seven? A seven? Oh, oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we don't have to. Hit a five. We got it. Oh, my God. Let's go. Carol's is dead, but I have to uh, recuperate my food, unfortunately. Now, the hardest challenge, I guess, is definitely Aram's. Slaying Carol's with Fire Strike gave me some hope that maybe magic might be enough to kill Aram's. And I even went ahead and got some magic here. I even got Jango Berries, which heal me for one prayer so that way i can constantly keep my prayer going for a bit so i can prayer flick and do constant magic damage without stopping but unfortunately arams is so tanky to magic and melee that yeah no matter what i throw at it at my current setup and stats it is just not enough to kill it within 10 minutes so we do have to retreat and actually train our stats i still believe in the flinching strat because I was able to do damage to Aram's. I just need to land more often. So as long as I train my stats, I believe it should work. So we'll come back tomorrow. I'm going to be AFK training at Sandcraft mostly today. So I can prepare for Aram's tomorrow. Because I'm still going to commit to the flinching strat. I think it'll be enough DPS to kill it before it despawns. The problem is the training is probably not as good as I would like it to be. Uh, it's 40k an hour. But I'm sure it could be a lot faster because the adamant two-handed sword is just so slow and it basically has the stats of a rune scimitar and I can actually get a rune scimitar pretty quick if I just kill the Zamrak warriors in the institute ZMI area which is also AFK anyway so I think I'm gonna go pick that up real quick I'm looking at the Zami warrior drops and it's actually quite decent it drops other things like adamant longswords rune daggers which means if it takes me a while to get this rune skimmy, I can actually sell these other drops at least and buy some more, you know, runes to keep going. But yeah, it's pretty nice, man. I've never actually killed these guys before. Alright, so the Zambi Warrior is literally right here in your face, as you can see. Uh, actually, what's their stats? Okay, they have like basically no magic levels, so that means, yeah, it's like hitting fire giants, except... The chance of getting the rune skimmy is more than twice as good and also you can kill these more than twice as fast because they only have 45 hp <gasps> what what <laughs> no way one kill you gotta be shitting me one kill holy shit that's insane I literally just got here recorded that clip for you guys. And I already got it. Okay, I guess the downside is you gotta hop. Because there's only really one, I guess, in this area. But oh my god, that's actually crazy. I got in the first kill. I guess I should probably just leave. 
I always thought the two-handed swords were only 50% slower than like a runescape guitar, like six ticks, meaning 3.6 seconds instead of the 2.4 of a runescape, for example. But it's not. It's even worse. It's seven ticks. It's 4.2 seconds a hit. So that means compared to a scimitar, it's almost twice as slow. So that means with the rune scimitar, I'm going to be getting almost double the amount of XP per hour. So I was getting like 14k. Right now it says I'm getting around 25k. So that, that's probably going to be what I'm getting. So it's so freaking nice. We're going to get so much more XP in uh, yeah our combat stuff in the same day now. All right, guys, I need to actually go ahead and do this quest called the Children of the Sun because that's going to unlock Volamore. And the reason why I want to unlock Volamore right now is so I can access better sand crab spots. And it's also much easier to get to the sand crabs, too, once I unlock this quest. It's super short, requires nothing uh, in terms of stats and skills. So it'll be like a 10 minute quest. And then I can go to Volamore really easily because the bird that takes you there is next to Varak. All right, there we go. Quest done. Literally took like no time. What did I even get for the 20 coins? Come on. All right, look at that. Look at that. This is the easiest way to get to Volmore. Just literally east of Varak right here. They made this so new friendly to explore this new region, which is amazing because my character is effectively a noob. So yeah, here we go. First new account where i just unlock and take advantage of all more right off the bat so these sand crabs there's a few spots uh there's one like right around here and i think there's a bunch down here as well is on this come on say oh yes yes oh my god okay nice there we go boys this is what i'm talking about holy look at all these sand crabs oh there's a three spot right there ain't nobody here all right so this spot for some reason all the sand crabs are awake I hop worlds just to double check no one's messing with it but this spot down here oh look at that there's so many triple spots hell yeah i guess i can just switch between this and this so we did a full day of just afking and i've really beefed up our melee stats here almost 60 attacks so i can like prep for d skim in the future um 58 strength as well surely we can kill arms in under 10 minutes this time with this setup Oh my god, look at that. Two hits in and I already did 10% damage. <laughs> a massive difference from last time. I already did another hit too as well. Wow. Already did 12 damage in three freaking hits, guys. I think we have a shot this time. Can we kill it before it despawns? Let's find out. We got it oh my god we actually did it yes okay a days of afk crabs really uh was all it took nice okay now we can actually actually go underground because uh, we're gonna fight all the melee guys underground all right he is my tunnel sweet doesn't matter which one so we're gonna try to spawn the brothers and what we're gonna do is we're gonna trap them we're going to use this corner here because both sides I can trap on this side and on the on the hallway as well. All right, time to spawn these guys. Oh, there it is. OK, we got our first dude and this is the strat. It's just that simple. We're just going to keep spamming the doors until we get all the brothers because this way we can just kill it super, super fast. No running, no nothing. We just, you know, fire strike them nonstop. No flinching. Easy game. Alright, just like that, we cleared Torax. Now we must clear the next three. Show yourselves. There you go. Now for X up. Thank you for showing up so fast. And yeah, we do the same thing. Repeat. There you go. Varax is dead. Nice. Okay, two more to go. And there it is. Nothing's done, and all that's left is Derox. So, one last guy. Oh, there it is. Yes. Ah, oh, don't kill me. All right. Luckily, we can't die to one hit. I just gotta kill this guy now. There it is. All six brothers slain. 
Sweet. Spin into a Badoodle. Here we go. Oh, I thought that was an actual bear's item. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Wait, this didn't give me any, any my runes? Oh, no. I didn't get any my runes, though. The first big goal on the old meet Iron Man boy. There it is. We're gonna get 43 prayer here. Oh, wait. I, I just don't remember how long this dialogue is, but this was the uh, prequel to Desert Treasure 2, if you guys were wondering what this is. Ah, I got a, I got a lamp, so. Ooh, what is this? Crypt map? You carefully study and memorize all the details, you then discard it. Okay, I don't know what exactly that is, but 20,000 per lamp is what we're talking about. Dusty lamp. Here we go. Ah, perfect. 43 prayer. Just like that. We got all the protection prayers now. And of course, I'm going to do a few runs, man. We spent so much effort to get here. Yes! <laughs> I need to kill it fast because I felt like I was probably not uh, not have enough time. All right, let's go and try to complete the second run here. Unfortunately, Arams is my tunnel for this second attempt, which means I have to kill him downstairs. And the problem with downstairs is every single part of downstairs can spawn minions. And even if I'm flinching Arams, they can still attack me. So if like some other people walk across and spawn a minion, eventually they will start attacking me, which will impact my success rate of killing Arams downstairs because it's a timer basically right and i cannot afford to have to like eat too much in the middle of it no man are you serious anyways here we go oh we got we got runes but yeah we messed the arams that's so lame really though not much reason to do barrels outside of the 43 prayer so i've had my fun going for three barrels kc got some runes out of it and now it's time to focus on more important stuff like unlocking teleports magic levels and a means to make money in the next video though i got some really exciting groundbreaking new strats to make money with all these new updates so look forward to that